let's directly jump into it. So last time you have already seen how we can create a company code in SAP. However, there are certain important parameters that we need to assign to this company code. And this is done via transaction code OBY6. That's OBY6. And as you can see over here, a bunch of templates already exist. So this is according to the template company codes that are already pre-shipped by SAP. And let's look at one of those. So normally what you would do is that you would first create your own company code as a copy from an existing template, as we have discussed last time. And then you would assign those important parameters I will show you now. So let's take the US as an example again and double click on the ID. And here you can see what we can do. We have actually a bunch of parameters that we can fill. First of all, be aware that the metadata is just copied and grayed out, as you can see. So right now we are adjusting settings for the company code US01. And yeah, furthermore, you can see we have two areas. First of all, the accounting organization area. And secondly, the processing parameters area. And we will start with the accounting organization area. And I will explain you the most important fields over here. So first of all, you can see the chart of accounts. The chart of accounts for sure is one of the most important parameters for the company code. And as you know, one to end company codes can be mapped to one chart of accounts. However, one company code can only have one be assigned to one chart of accounts and not multiple chart of accounts. And the chart of accounts itself will list the GL accounts with their respective accounting number, the accounting name and also the technical information. Then we have the company. Yeah, we talked about the company before. It is used for consolidation purposes and the ultimate assignment we would do via OX16 transaction. We have the credit control area, also quite important if you have a credit management in place. Via this area, we can essentially grant and also monitor the credit limit for customers. And this credit control area for sure can be included in one or also multiple company codes. Then you see we have some important checkboxes over here and the most important ones is first of all company code is productive. Is if this company code is used in the productive system, then we should mark this accordingly. And we can also hide the company code in the F4 help. F4 is the F4 on your keyboard, normal search help in the ZAP GUI transactions. And if you don't want users to see all of the company codes, we can restrict this and say that, yeah, for the majority of the users, they won't see this company code in the F4 help. Then we have on the right hand side over here, the so-called country chart of accounts. This chart of account in the end represents the accounting structure prescribed under the national regulations, meaning that there could be countries that demand a separate or a different structure for the chart of accounts. So how the accounts are listed. And yeah, therefore we would here insert the yeah, country chart of accounts. And important is that we connect the our normal chart of accounts to the country chart of accounts within the GL accounts themselves. So there would be then an additional field, it's called alternative account number, and there you can then fill also this alternative account number. And in that way, the normal GL account, so to say, and the country GL account are always linked. Then we have the fiscal year variant. This is one of the most important parameters as well. As you can see, K4, this means, yeah, this is standard SAP. So here we are talking about the standard calendar year, meaning that we have 12 months starting from January up to December and four special periods. This is where the four, the K stands for calendar and the four for the four special periods, so to say. And yeah, with that, we define the posting periods of our fiscal year and the number of special periods, in this case, 
there are four special periods and how the system determines the posting period when posting involves financial entries. And here this is quite important for the European Union. You can see the VAT, so the value added tax registration number. And yeah, basically this is used within the European Union for tax exempt deliveries. Yeah, let's now focus on the processing parameters. So here we also have a couple of important parameters we can set. First of all, this would be the so-called field status variant. You can see a four digit code I inserted over here. So basically the field status variant we will assign to each company code. And via the field status variant, we can tell the system which fields are mandatory to be filled by an end user, which are yeah, supposed to be hidden and also optional and so on for different finance related transactions. So meaning that in customizing, we configure this field status variant, we assign it then to the company code. And then depending on our configurations, when accessing different finance rated transactions, then we won't see now we will see certain fields marked as mandatory with an asterisk and other fields are optional. Some fields may be hidden and so on. I will make a separate video about that topic in future. Then we have the posting period variant. This is extremely important. So one posting period variant can be assigned to one or more company codes. And this posting period variant with that we define, yeah, in the end, which posting period is open for processing. Meaning that before we can post any financial transaction, financial data to the system, the relevant posting period, let's say we are right now in August, so the posting period for August must be open in the system. Otherwise we can't post anything. And yeah, basically we define this via the posting period variant and this posting period variant we can utilize in another transaction and then yeah, state whether a posting period is open or closed, so to say. And the advantage here is that we can really assign this variant to a bunch of company codes that are utilizing the same posting periods so that we do not need to maintain the posting periods per company code, but we can maintain the posting periods for a bunch of company codes simultaneously. And I will also show that in a separate video. Then you see here there is something grayed out, the relationship between the company code and the controlling area. This is because this particular relationship we maintain not in the company code and also not in the global data of the company code over here, but we maintain it in the controlling area itself. And the screen here, on, um, yeah. yeah, the screen you see will inherit the information from the controlling area for this particular field. Then this is, um, for instance, important for our Germany, we have the cost of sales accounting active and you can see the parameter 2. Parameter 2 would be active, 1 is in preparation and 0 is inactive. So the cost of sales accounting is nothing else than a specific way in displaying or calculating, to be precise, the profit and loss of a company. The other option would be the nature of revenue accounting. And one more important parameter is here, the negative postings permitted. So let's imagine that we posted a financial transaction, a debit and a credit, and then we realized that we made a mistake. In finance, you do not delete your postings that you made to the system, but you reverse them normally. And this negative postings permitted indicator over here, if we set it, then this means that once we reverse our entries, so a debit will be credited and a credit will be debited, then reverse not on the other side of the account, but so to say on the same side, meaning debit, debit and credit, credit, instead of credit, debit, debit, credit. So there will be a negative sign, meaning that for instance, let's say we had a debit of 2000 and normally this would be reversed by a credit of 2000. In this case, if we allow the negative postings, then the 2000 on the debit side will 
also be debited by 2000 but with a negative sign. Yeah, and that's basically, those are the most important parameters for now you can fill for basic finance configuration. As I said, we will talk about a lot of those other parameters in future as well, as they are more special topics. And also I will show you different customizing steps, for instance, for the field status variant here.